Hey guys, that's Lee Demon here, and today I am bringing you a, well not a full gameplay, um, a game, a game clip rather, using the PDW with, I can't remember the attachments, but it has the fantastic cherry blossom camo, which is annoying as hell to get. Um, I'm probably going to do more game clips because throughout the course of a game I just die too much get lots of stupid deaths um, and having game clips it means the videos are shorter so they're better for me to commentate because after a whole gameplay I get really bored and gets quite a monotonous um, I think I'm yeah this is carrier I'm playing kill confirmed um, Kill Confirmed is probably my favourite normal game top at the moment. Overall it is Sharpshooter. Just because it is so easy to get the score streaks. Because, well frankly, you get too many points for confirming kills. I think it should be 75 points for the kill and 75 for a confirm and 50 for a deny so at least when you get the kill and your goddamn teammates who is right in front of you gets the tag before you do so you can still get 100 points and you still get the 150 for confirming your own kill and i don't understand why in the game um you hardly get any points for like destroying headquarters you only get 25 points denying tags because you're still playing the objective but you are not getting and a reward anywhere near as good as like capping the flag or getting the uh, tag, the confirmed tags, and a lovely AFK guy probably get four kills in this match. I don't know. Um, I'm using the C4. I don't know if I'm winning anything else. Um, two free, two hundred three points there, and nice to still get my ten kill streak. Calling a VSAT. And I found out recently that a majority. Uh, well, I was in a lobby and with Calvin, and we were the only ones on our teams who used the radar. Even when we called in a VSAT. Which I find annoying as hell because VSATs, they're not, they're not hard to get, but they're not just like, oh, I've got one. Every game. Well, not for me anyway. You can't get them every game. Um. Oh, oh, um, oh, 15 kills through there. Um, lightning strikes on this, um, very good because 50 points for a kill if your teammate gets it. And dogs finally get some kills, which is very new. Well, not new, very, um, what's the word? Well, they're few and far between on this game because I don't know what, oh, bounce a bit, yay. I don't know what they're doing with dogs. But for me, they seem to be so much better in World of War when they were a two-hit kill. I don't know if they have more health or if people have just got um, better at killing them. I, I can't understand how that C4 did get a kill. Um, when I've ammo in, my, um, in the round with my MSMC. And the B23R is... I wouldn't say it was the best, but if you're playing zombies and you're used to it, I would use it because I've gotten to the point with it now where I am very accurate with it. Um, probably not as accurate as the crossbow, but crossbow is not an instant kill. Wish you didn't have to have the explosive bolt on it, but um, it's not that way. And the AFK guy is back. We're going to have a knife in. Get 153 points, get the V set, and Bloodthirsty Medal, which, oh, like you get a V set after 5 kills, which I really don't think is fair. I think you should have to do more to earn it on different game modes, because TDM, 5 kills through for a UAV, but yet yeah, you can jump into this and get it after 3 kills, 3 confirms, which that's without, um, without hardline. Get my second dog to the game here. Get another kill with a B23R. 
It's a great backup weapon. And never can 10 kills you have it. And this is the final kill in the game. People just sprinting around corners. And there you have it. That's the game clip. And hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please subscribe.